Hey everyone, welcome to the results video of the Alpine Coaster Ride Creation Contest. Now, um, this contest lasted a little bit longer than uh, the contests usually do uh, because of my uh, hospitalization uh, and stuff. Anyway, um, yeah, it feels good to uh, finally be able to end this contest. Now, we had some great uh, entries in this round. I will first show all of them. Um, starting with the one that got the lowest score and I'll finish by announcing who is the winner of this round. Anyway, um, there were quite a lot of entries so uh, I'll spend a little bit less time uh, on the lower ranked entries and I'll spend a bit more time uh, showing some details of the higher scoring ones. Anyway, let's begin. Okay, in last place we have this entry from Tartuf. Um, yeah, this entry looked a little bit rushed uh, in uh, places, especially for example over here in the corner with this unknown piece of land with water and some sharp edge. A lot of the land is still undecorated and this alpine coaster in several places just clips through trees and through the ground. So yeah, um, definitely could have been uh, polished uh, a lot. Okay, here we have the entry from the cloud QC. Uh, yeah, lots of uh, different track texture in this entry. Also, a uh, weird color scheme with the black and the white. Now, it's quite fun seeing this uh, um, alpine coaster travel around here. The does look, uh, there does appear to be some clipping here, for example, with this tree over here. So, yeah, definitely something to be careful of. Some strange color choices, though. This black is very dark. Um, not really sure if it uh, works well with the. Um, yeah, the uh, other colors that are around here. And there are some nice buildings here. The foliage, uh, I think it's uh, all right. Okay, here's the entry from Soccer Dude XX. Uh, he created this uh, castle from Frozen, I think. Welcome to Princess uh, Elsa's castle. So yeah, here's a big icy castle, and the uh, weather is actually the blizzard weather. Now. Uh, well, it's cool. I don't actually recommend using this weather as it, uh, yeah, it's it's very dark and it, I don't really think it gives a nice atmosphere. When you do want snow, it might be best to just go for the, the lighter snow. I think this is much more easy uh, for the viewer. Now, um, lots of uh, yeah, regular or uh, let's call it a bit of repetitiveness, uh, especially in these trees over here. But maybe it's... Uh, uh, supposed to represent an actual town, not really sure. Um, as for the underwater foliage, yeah, instead of spreading it out, might be might look n nicer to actually make f little clumps of foliage. That's usually much nicer uh, to look at. Now, um, as for this uh, coaster over here, again, looks like there's some clipping with these trees. Uh, definitely something to uh, look out for when you place uh, trees uh, next to a coaster track. Okay, here's the entry from Der Sunger. Um, now you made quite a nice alpine coaster. Um, it travels uh, through this landscape, goes quite high up, and then uh, there's lots of these uh, helixes uh, leading downwards. And uh, I actually like the combination with the hybrid coaster track. I think that works uh, pretty well. Now, um, as for the map itself, uh, it does look a little bit sparsely decorated in places. I mean, there are a lot of uh, nice looking trees with these uh, snowy trees over here. But when you place trees, it always works well to also place some bushes under them. And that will make the area look a bit more dense. And that usually looks uh, much uh, nicer. Rather than having most things spread out. You can see a nice clump of trees, uh, for example, over here. With just some bushes under it. Uh, I think uh, it will make it uh, come together much more nicely. Now over here we see a lot of uh, litter bins and uh, lamps. When you're playing a scenario, uh, it can uh, work pretty well. But when you're playing to make a park look nice, uh, I think this is a little bit uh, overkill. Okay, then we have the entry from uh, Jov Zero Bob. Um, he made this alpine cow, so it travels through this landscape here. Now, there are a lot of trees here, so I will just hide them so we can take a better look at the layout. Now, I quite like how we uh, used this, this underlaying track here to make netting. For the alpine coaster, I think that works pretty well. You can also see this multi-dimension coaster track here under the lift hill. I think that uh, that also looks nice. Uh, it works nice as a catwalk. Now these trains, uh, these vehicles do follow each other very closely, 
So that's why this uh, layout is probably a little bit prone to uh, traffic jams uh, when you have a slower guest uh, in front. So yeah, um, my recommendation for this kind of coaster is uh, to spread out the cars a little bit. Oh, it looks like there's now no cars for uh, for quite some time. Since there's also many vehicles, might also be good to have a little bit of a longer station. So it would actually be able to uh, handle more vehicles. If there would be a backup now in the station, uh, the, the trains would bump into each other somewhere over here. But yeah, um, as for the overall map, um, my advice here would be to have a little bit more content in the park, like buildings, rides, and a little bit less focus on uh, greenery and trees. And probably um, the map would be a little bit uh, more easy on the eyes. Right now it's very busy everywhere with the different colors of trees. So that would probably be uh, my advice. But overall, I think it looks all right. All right, next up is the entry from Memes RCT. He made this uh, big map with lots of height difference once again. Um, yeah, up Alpine Coast, it travels all the way up the top and then travels down uh, uh, along the track. Now, uh, Memes RCT used the bobsleigh track here as netting. I think that works uh, pretty well. I think the layout is also quite alright, although there are some spots where there's barely any uh, height difference. So um, yeah, those spots are also pretty prone to uh, traffic jams. I think this uh, Christmas tree here is actually done pretty nicely. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, I quite like that. I can also see a chairlift uh, uh, traveling up and down here. Well, you don't actually see any of the cars traveling up. I uh, do like how Mims RCT put these extra supports uh, in between. Um, yeah, they're, they're not actually functional, but uh, I think that, uh, that looks uh, pretty nice. I think that's a good way of uh, doing it. The station of the right, I think it also looks pretty nice. You can also see a Santa here on the roof. Okay, here's the entry from Swampy07. Um, yeah, he put this Alpine coaster in this side of the map. And the rest of the map um, yeah, has some other rides like this mine train over here. And also what looks like a little town. Uh, I think the, the map actually looks pretty nice. Um, once again, um, it's probably a good idea to not evenly spread out your bushes. But just put a few together in clumps. Um, that will uh, usually look a bit nicer. For example, just put a few clumps like this here and there. And you'll have uh, some denser regions, some uh, less dense regions. It will look much nicer, trust me. <laughs> but yeah, um, as for the Alpine coaster, I think it looks pretty nice. Although I'm not really sure about these uh, sections of the track that only have bobsleigh track. You'll probably want to keep uh, this uh, this kind of tr the original Alpine coaster track uh, with these rails um, above the bobsleigh coaster track. If you want it to uh, serve as netting, uh, at least. Maybe this is actually supposed to be a part of the ride where uh, uh, you actually go around on the bobsleigh uh, track like a like a bobsleigh. <laughs> Not sure. But yeah, um, I think uh, the layout of the ride is pretty nice. And again, the RMC uh, track works well uh, under it. I think the Hardline goes to track uh, also works pretty well. Okay, here's the entry from Armagen or Armagen. Um, yeah, I think overall uh, his entry just looks very pleasant. This looks like a nice uh, tropical uh, setting. Maybe not even tropical. Um, there are some ferns, but also some pine trees and stuff. But overall, um, yeah, I think uh, Armageddon made the uh, foliage look pretty nice in the map. I also really like these uh, ruins here with this waterfall. That just looks beautiful. Now, as for the layout of the Alpine coaster, um, yeah, probably it could have used a little bit more height uh, difference. Um, yeah, there's not much height difference uh, in the map. So that's why there's uh, another chain lift here uh, at some point. And in quite some areas of the of the ride, the cars travel quite slowly. So yeah, with some height difference, uh, that's probably a good way uh, or a better way to overcome that. I also saw some, something else. Uh, you can see this uh, mountain bike rental ride. The cars travel down very slowly until the end here, where they suddenly race up the ramp and uh, jump over. Maybe the 
bikes could have used a bit more speed also in this downward section. But yeah, that's just uh, my uh, opinion. But yeah, um, overall, I think this is a really pleasant looking map. Although the Alpine coaster probably could have used a little bit more attention. Okay, next map is from M4X. Now, once again, a huge long map. Uh, I think the layout of the coaster is pretty nice. So uh, it's a lift hill traveling all uh, all the way up the mountain. Also over this, uh, this bridge here, which I think looks uh, really cool. Yeah, lo just love seeing these uh, waterfalls here uh, in the background. That's uh, that's a really cool setting. Also, some nice rock work here, some nice foliage. I think that's done really nicely. Then uh, after that, the train travels around down these helixes uh, all over the mountain. There's another bridge over here. Some more helixes. I think the layout of the ride's done really well. Um, I think it uh, could have maybe used some uh, netting or other uh, supporting track uh, below the uh, yeah below the original track just to act as uh, netting or uh, yeah it's something that oh for here for example there's some uh, wooden coaster track under the track. So yeah, overall I think the layout's pretty good. Now I did notice a lot of the guests are having trouble finding their way, and that's because this. Uh, uh, yeah, this uh, Space Rings ride actually has it entrance and exits uh, on top of the path. Uh, you should never do that because that uh, confuses the hell out of guests. Uh, and they will just walk around in circles. So never put your entrances and exits on top of uh, paths. Okay, here's the entry from our Raider in 1994. Very small map. Um, but yeah, I think the layout of the Alpine coach actually is pretty good for a small map. Um, so you can see the trains uh, or the vehicles travel up the lift hill over here, going through this tunnel and just several uh, bends and helixes. Uh, I think it actually looks pretty nice. Um, and it's all in this nice little uh, jungle setting. Now as for the foliage, um, probably would have uh, maybe looked nice uh, with some more uh, trees or some uh, bushes under the trees. Um, you can actually bury some trees under the existing trees and that will uh, usually make it uh, look nice and uh, a little bit more dense for example these uh, uh, these weeping willows will often look uh, nice in a in a jungle setting but yeah especially in a jungle setting if you make it look a little bit more dense I think it usually looks uh, looks a lot nicer once again just uh, something that I like to do uh, overall I think this is a nice uh, little map Okay, here's the entry from Johnson. Uh, Johnson uh, made also made a long map, um, quite an unusual palette with some weird uh, uh, green, bluish uh, color. Uh, lots of stuff happening uh, in the map. Um, over here we can see the Alpine coaster. Uh, now I really like how he decorated it with these uh, banners, which uh, the ride is traveling under. Really like uh, like uh, slalom uh, skiing. What I don't really like is that the uh, ride actually travels uh, up here uh, in these uh, sections. Um, yeah, normal uh, alpine coasters uh, usually don't have uphill sections in their uh, in their layout. So I'm not sure if that's really a, a good idea. Um, the rest of the layout, I think it's actually uh, pretty nice. You can see it travel all throughout this landscape. Uh, like I already said, kind of like a, a slalom track for uh, for skiing. Now, lots of other stuff happening uh, in the park. Lots of different uh, rides. See some shoestring rides uh, here and there. Uh, also a coaster going around here. And there's also this uh, ski jump uh, ride, which is also quite fun to uh, to watch. Okay, here's the map from Alex Derrick. Um, yeah, I think he uh, made a fun theme. You can see these guests uh, traveling in helicopters here. So, uh, yeah, it looks like a firefighting theme. So here's the sign, collect water. So I guess the guests go to this lake to collect water. And then they uh, they release the water over here on this uh, fire. So yeah, not a theme you see every day, but uh, I think uh, Electric <laughs> did a nice job here. He executed it pretty nicely. It's fun watching these helicopters go around. 
Now over here we can see the Alpine coaster. So it uh, travels, uh, well, over here is the station and travels downward uh, with these helixes around, around these big trees. I think the layout of the ride is uh, pretty nice. Although it does go a little bit high above the ground uh, in many places. Um, but yeah, um, just a fun layout with all these uh, helixes. And finally it ends with this big diagonal lift hill back to the station. I think it's, uh, it's pretty nice. Uh, over here we see this, uh, uh, looks like a landslide. Or maybe this is just a rocky section. Um, yeah, not really sure if... Uh, these objects as they done, are done here look very convincing as a, as a rocky landscape. Maybe um, next time will look nicer if you make it a little bit more dense so you see less of the ground below it. But yeah, overall uh, I think it's a map with a fun theme. Um, I also saw some people comment about this uh, bird show over here, which is also a really nicely done. Here's the map from Bam the Bomb. Um, Bam the Bomb made a ski resort but uh, one that doesn't actually have any snow, or just it's the ski resort in uh, in summer. Now, huge buildings over here, and they have lots of uh, detail, lots of uh, fences, uh, flowers, uh, etc. I think these are done uh, really nicely. They, uh, yeah, these uh, buildings look uh, look great. You'll see uh, hot tubs uh, over here. Yeah, very nice uh, buildings over here. Also a nice gradient here in the flowers. That's uh, really nicely done. Now, um, the Alpine Coaster, um, I believe it travels up underground. You can also see this uh, chairlift here in the middle. I think that looks uh, really nice. I really like what uh, Bam the Bomb did with these uh, supports. That looks really nice. Now, and then over here on top of the, in this building, um, the Alpine Coaster travels down here. Um, yeah, I think it's a, it's a pretty nice uh, layout. Long uh, curve downwards over here. Also some uh, underlying track uh, with some bobsleigh coaster track over here. And over here there's uh, some coaster track under it. Um, there's an uphill section here. Not really sure if that's a, that's a good idea. I already mentioned it uh, earlier. And here's some more helixes downwards uh, over the waterfall. Some really nice uh, interaction here with the uh, landscape. Yeah, I think this is a really cool looking uh, alpine coaster. Uh, the landscape, uh, I think it looks uh, pretty nice, although it is a little bit flat in places. And with flat, I just mean uh, the, the slope is the same uh, gradient throughout. And here's a flat se section and more of the same gradient throughout. Maybe a little bit l more irregularity in here would have uh, looked nice. But yeah, overall, I think it's a pretty nice entry. Okay, here we have the entry from Beautiful Monday. Uh, once again, great landscaping here. Um, yeah, I love how the landscape is shaped here with all these volcano rocks, and the snow-tipped uh, mountains here, and the big drop-off here uh, on the edge. Um, yeah, I think that looks uh, really cool. Now, here on top, we see the station for the Alpine Coaster, also really nicely done. I really like this uh, seating area here with these uh, supports uh, under it. Now, um, I think it would have looked nicer if the track was actually visible here above the bobsleigh coaster track. I think then it would have been a little bit more convincing as uh, netting. Um, yeah, the Alpine coaster uh, travels somewhere downwards here into this tunnel, which I think is, uh, is uh, pretty uh, nicely done. It looks like a bit of an uphill section here, but it's not too long, so uh, yeah, it might work. Um, yeah, the supports here are very high above the ground. Maybe it would have uh, looked nice with some extra supports over here, maybe. Um, but yeah, the coaster just travels uh, downwards here through the rest of the landscape with more tunnels. I really like how it travels ov over the waterfalls here and under the chairlifts. For the chairlift, it uh, might be a good idea to not place track di uh, directly under it, because these supports look a little bit silly uh, when they go to the side. Yeah, I think the landscaping here is really nicely done. Um, yeah, and the coaster just travels through it really nicely. So yeah, a really nice entry from uh, Beautiful Monday. 
Hey, here's the entry from Luffles. Um, he made this uh, really uh, beautiful uh, buildings in this entry here. Looks like a little uh, German or Austrian town. And over here we can see the Alpine coaster uh, travel upwards. Now, uh, he used the RMC track uh, below the Alpine coaster track for the uh, entire ride. So here it travels up the station, it's actually uh, over here on the top. And then the guests uh, travel downwards all along the building. They also travel inside the building here, which I think looks pretty cool. Over here is a long curved drop. Uh, around these uh, yeah, these purple uh, crystals over here uh, and over here is another big drop down uh, around this Christmas tree which I think looks uh, pretty cool also with these presents uh, around here um, yeah, you have to remember this contest was uh, started uh, before Christmas so yeah, it was actually extended quite a bit so uh, don't be surprised if you see some more Christmas stuff uh, pop up in the coming entries but yeah, um, I think uh, the track is really nicely decorated. There's also some other rides here. Here you can see a shoestring ride in the corner. And here we can see a, a, a ride where I guess uh, slide down uh, the mountain. Pretty nice. Okay, here we have the entry from Lurker. Now, um, once again, pretty dense entry uh, full of uh, little buildings. Uh, really uh, um, yeah, nice to, to look at. Um, yeah, over here we can see a little town. I believe in the story it said something like uh, it showed the map in summer or spring, then autumn, and then winter on the on the top. Yeah, over here we can see the train station. Um, over here there's the Alpine coast track. Oh, over here there's actually the, the brake section. It looks like. And from here, I guess, travel upwards uh, back to the station. I like how the catwalk here is, or the the chain lift here is done with the catwalk. Um, yeah, the station, quite a interesting design for it. Lots of balconies, uh, kind of looks like a hotel or something. Um, but yeah, um, I guess travel upwards here a little bit and then they travel down the mountain. Um, yeah, pretty nice uh, layout here over here once again. Um, I like these sections over the paths here using some bobsleigh track. Um, yeah, that just looks uh, really cool. Yeah, just lots of path interaction. The path travels next to this uh, um, coaster and several points. Some nice viewing areas over here. Also, once again, chairlift that travels over the ride. Um, yeah, it's just a beautiful uh, alpine coaster here in the in the in this wonderful landscape. Okay, here we have the entry from Sol X. Um, he uh, themed this entry after uh, Cool Runnings. Um, yeah, it's the, the movie about the Jamaican bobsleigh team. Over here, there's actually the station for the ride. There's actually uh, two stations. There's a short version of the ride and a longer version. So the short version uh, um, travels to this uh, town over here. And the long version actually travels further up the mountain. Now, I uh, really like the overall shape of the map. Um, yeah, I think it looks really cool, uh, especially with the void. Um, yeah, just cutting off the the, uh, the void uh, over here next to it is racing up with the land. So, uh, yeah, I, I really like the way the the landscape uh, looks over here. I think that's uh, that's uh, pretty nicely done. Also, I uh, quite like the foliage over here, nice and uh, tropical, not overdone. You can also see a little burger cave here. Um, yeah, this town, I think it looks uh, really uh, nice. Um, maybe it could have used a little bit more height difference, uh, or maybe this uh, guy is just really slow. That's also a possibility. Um, yeah, I think this is just a really cool looking map uh, throughout. Um, yeah, not much dueling going on, but that's pretty much impossible with this coaster type anyway, because all the guests have a different uh, speed. But yeah, um, really nicely decorated map from uh, Sol X. Okay, next up is the map from Dark Raider. Now, I, I really like this map. Um, I think the Alpine coaster in this map looks fantastic. 
Um, it's really the center point of the map. I think it uses a great uh, track combination as well. I think these uh, tracks that are used uh, to go under the coaster here uh, work really well with the Alpine coaster track uh, on top. Now, it also has a really nice layout, lots of interaction. I really like how it travels around this launched freefall here and right in front of the bat wing of this other coaster here. Something which I also really like is this, uh, yeah, how the coaster travels under this path here. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's nice uh, to uh, yeah see this plaza here. Um, you can also see some uh, guests uh, watching the ride uh, every now and then. Um, yeah, I think this is a really good ride interaction here. Also, the landscape here looks uh, looks really nice. So yeah, Ride also travels through some buildings, uh, and yeah, there's just lots of stuff uh, happening uh, next to the ride, uh, which I think is a nice thing, also a little bridge over the track here. Um, yeah, guests uh, have a feel of the ride from uh, almost everywhere in the map, which I think is really cool. Some really nice looking bridges in the map as well, and we can also see some uh, airships uh, traveling over the map here. Um, yeah, I cannot cover all the details in this uh, video. Um, if you want to see these entries for yourself, which I really recommend, you can download them uh, from my Discord server. Discord is completely free. Um, just go on my uh, Discord server, links in the video description, and then you can download them from the contest archive. Alright, next up is the entry from me. <laughs> um, yeah, I made this entry. Um, I had some time to kill when I was at my parents after my hospitalization so uh, then I made uh, this map um, so here in the middle you can see uh, this uh, ship uh, this spaceship which also has the station for the ride uh, from here uh, guests actually get uh, uh, lifted upwards using this tractor beam it's actually just an invisible uh, rotating chain lift uh, in uh, over here with some steep track and then from there uh, guests uh, travel down over all these uh, asteroids and each of these asteroids uh, has a different color of crystal on it and you can also see some mining operations uh, going on uh, I really had fun uh, making this uh, I thought it was a uh, was uh, yeah I thought it was really fun to uh, to do this and when I make my maps I always uh, try to make them look interesting everywhere so I want something to happen everywhere that's why you can see entertainers uh, or miners uh, all over the map. By the way, um, I named all these uh, entertainers after my patrons. So if you're a, a member on my Patreon, then uh, you will find yourself uh, somewhere in this uh, map. I made lots of uh, funny little scenes, so I hope you all uh, like your spot in the park. But yeah, uh, lots of mining operations going on, some uh, easter eggs in the map as well. So yeah, I think uh, and I, I think I made a fun map to uh, explore for yourself. See some little jokes uh, over here as well. So yeah, um, I hope you're all going to download these entries and also check them out for yourself. And uh, I do hope that you uh, enjoy this map. Okay, the next map is from Ball Pit Warrior. Oh, he made this uh, huge uh, German castle, um, which uh, got a new coat of paint. It now also has this alpine coast traveling through it. Now, um, I think this is a beautiful uh, building. It's uh, not easy making uh, huge buildings that look good, but uh, I think Pul Pulpit Warrior did a nice job here. You can also see some cutouts in the building. Over here we can see a carousel. Um, here we can see a, a hallway with the coaster also, uh, or the coaster track also going through it. Over here we can see a uh, uh, looks like the dinner table with the big chandelier over it. You also see a dungeon ride here in the dungeon of the of the castle in the basement of the castle. So yeah, I, I think the cutouts are really nice. You can also see some paintings uh, over here. It's a nice uh, yeah nice way to use uh, an entertainer to make a a scene from a from a painting. That's pretty cool. Now oh, we can all see the Alpine coaster, of course. Um, it travels through the castle here. Here it pops out again. There's uh, some helixes over here. Has also also has some uh, tunnels. 
travels over the path here with this nice little uh, bridge here. And then finally here it uh, returns back to the um, to the station. So yeah, I think this is a wonderful map, uh, a nice alpine coaster and a wonderful castle here. Okay, here we have the entry from Kongoi. Now what's funny is that <laughs> Kongoi actually used one of the pallets that I made in an earlier round. Uh, it's called the cream pallet. That's uh, white water actually to make it look like milk. And I actually used uh, a pallet that he made in my entry. <laughs> the one with the, the moon pallet it's called. But yeah, let's just start with the map. Overall, I think it looks amazing. Um, yeah, this is just a great uh, gingerbread castle. Um, I love the foliage here with all the candy uh, dispersed throughout. You can see uh, a chocolate river over here. Um, yeah, I think uh, Kongoi just executed this uh, candy theme uh, in, in an amazing way. This looks uh, great. And uh, I really love this color just dispersed throughout. Now, um, as for the Alpine Coaster, um, looks like another dueling track. And once again, it is quite difficult, of course, to make these uh, duel because of the differing speeds that the riders will have throughout the track. But uh, every now and then you will see some riders uh, line up in uh, some uh, key moments uh, in the track. But yeah, um, it is uh, quite fun watching these riders uh, go around the track. Um, yeah, there's this great interaction here with uh, paths and other um, scenery elements. Love this little river here with the waterfall which the um, tracks go under. Um, yeah, it's just really nice watching this uh, pair of coasters travel throughout the landscape. Yeah, um, <laughs> what can I say? Uh, go and download uh, this entry for yourself. Uh, Congo just did an amazing job here. Now, there are just two entries remaining. I will first show both of them and after that I will reveal which one is the winner of this round. Right here we have the entry from Flixpie and The Brew. Now, um, <laughs> they made this amazing looking uh, landscape. Um, yeah, we can see a big Asian temple over here. Here's Dirk Link, the, the deer leader. And yeah, this uh, castle already looks uh, looks uh, amazing. I just love the way this uh, castle looks. Also a great fountain over here. Uh, beautiful uh, landscaping here. I just love all the foliage, uh, flowers, but also the rocky landscape. Uh, especially the rocky landscape just looks amazing. Uh, must have taken quite some time uh, making all of this. Um, yeah, I just love all these ruins uh, dispersed uh, throughout. Um, these waterfalls here. This is just amazing landscaping. Probably uh, one of the greatest, uh, um, yeah, water f rivers with waterfalls that uh, that uh, that I've ever seen uh, in Rollercoaster Tycoon. Amazing work. Now we can also see a lot of portals here with uh, several uh, scenes. There's some uh, buildings uh, popping out. Um, called Doctor Strange. So yeah, uh, definitely some uh, references. Uh, to uh, books or uh, or movies, you will see a uh, manticore here, the ancient one. <laughs> you will see a climbing wall here. Yeah, there's just so much uh, cool stuff to see uh, throughout the map. Of course, there's also an alpine coaster. Um, it starts over here at the big Asian temple, travels all the way up here, and then it uh, travels down throughout the landscape. Now, really nice track combinations used once again. Um, this coaster works really well as uh, safety nets. Um, you can see some uh, actual uh, some wooden coaster track here being used as bridges. Um, some nice supports here and there under the track. So yeah, um, I think uh, Flixby and the Brew did an amazing job here on this uh, on this coaster and on the map. It just looks amazing. All right, and the final map is the map uh, made by Hobion. Once again, lots of high difference throughout the map. Uh, once again, a really cool uh, color scheme from Hobion. With, uh, yeah, color green is a di bit uh, different color, and so is the brown. Um, I quite like the tints that uh, that he used in the map. Makes it, yeah, it gives it a really special uh, feel. Now, uh, once again, a dueling uh, layout. So let's see where it actually uh, starts. Uh, 
I believe it starts over here. Then they, uh, the riders uh, travel down over here. They go through these helixes. Uh, once again, they don't really duel very well since the riders have different speeds. But uh, it is at least uh, quite interesting uh, to follow. Um, yeah. They're, uh, I think uh, Hobion used quite a good combination of tracks once again. Um, this is all uh, really pleasant uh, to look at. I think the wooden cozy track works pretty well with the other cozy tracks uh, above it. So yeah, I think it's a really nice uh, layout for the Alpine coaster. But uh, also uh, the map looks amazing. Once again, a river traveling, uh, a river running throughout the map. Lots of nice rock and uh, ruins uh, work right next to it. Lots of nice uh, foliage, uh, cool looking bridges all throughout the map and uh, other interesting rides as well. You can also see this twist uh, here inside the mountain. That's uh, pretty nicely done. These, uh, these uh, buildings over here, they're just done so nicely. So yeah, once again, just uh, an amazing map from uh, Obion. All right, it's now time to reveal which one of these last two entries is the winner of this round? Is it this beautiful entry from Hobion? Or is it the Asian temple in the rocky landscape from Flexpy and the Brew? And the winner of the Alpine Coaster Ride Creation Contest is... Hobion. Now at these last two entries uh, both had a great score. Of course only one entry can be the winner of the round. And Hobion uh, once again takes the win. Of course it's a beautiful entry. So uh, yeah, I think it's a well deserved uh, win. But yeah, we had quite a lot of entries uh, in this round and uh, the quality was uh, pretty high. I also really had fun joining a contest uh, once again. So uh, yeah, I think this was a really fun uh, round. Now hopefully uh, I won't have complications uh, in the coming month. And hopefully the next round can be uh, 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 can be one month uh, again. But yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed watching all these entries. I um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you uh, liked this video, please consider giving it a like. It would really help out my channel. And of course, if you want to see more of these videos, you can always subscribe to my channel. Alright, that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again in the next one. See you later.